Hey FitTrack, and thanks for coming out to another episode of Workout Wednesdays. This is the second of two weeks of low impact exercises to make sure that aches and pains don't get in the way of your fitness goals. Just like last week, we don't need any equipment and it's gonna take about 10 or 15 minutes. So if you're ready, let's do this. This week is gonna progress from last week's workout. So we're gonna take the first exercise from last week's workout and we're gonna add a push-up. So we're gonna get up to, into our modified push-up starting position. We're gonna do a shoulder tap, a shoulder tap. From here, we're gonna do a modified push-up, extend all the way up, and then we're gonna have our feet on the ground, back up into a push-up position, sit right back onto our hips, drive our hips quads forward, back to our knees. We're gonna tap, tap, keeping our core nice and strong. Push up all the way down to the ground, feet on the floor, extending the hips, and then sitting back onto the feet to mobilize our body for the upcoming workout. Similar to last week's workout, we're gonna use this exercise to turn on the big strong muscle groups in our body like our hamstrings and our glutes to prepare us for our big lower body exercise coming up next. So for this one, we're gonna lie with our feet about 12 inches away from our glutes. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna drive our hips up in the air. And when we get to the top, we're gonna consciously squeeze our hamstrings and our glutes. Control ourselves back down to the ground, drive our hips up and squeeze at the top. With our feet, we can almost slightly pull towards our glutes just to engage our hamstrings just a little bit more. Now, if that's a little bit too easy, you can try by extending one leg and driving our hips up until our thighs are parallel. And if we're doing this version, we wanna make sure that our hips are staying flat for the entire movement, and we're controlling ourselves all the way back down to the ground before we go into our next rep. So our big lower body exercise for this workout is called split squats, and essentially it's a stationary lunge. So set yourself up so you're in a nice comfortable position, and all you're gonna do from here is you're gonna lower yourself straight down to the ground, by keeping this knee from going over your toe and dropping your back knee till it's about inch off the ground. We're gonna drive yourself straight back up, control yourself right back down and right back up. Our back heel, we want to be towards the sky. So control it back down and drive it right back up. We wanna think about engaging this hamstring that we just warmed up in our last exercise. Control it down and control it up. Make sure that you do 10 exercises for one leg before you switch to the other leg and do your 10 reps on that side. So building off of our workout from last week, we're gonna do dead bugs, but this time we're gonna do it from a kneeling position. So we're gonna start again with our hands right underneath our shoulders and our knees should be right underneath our hips. From here on a diagonal, so our right arm and left leg, we're gonna extend out control it back in and we're gonna switch hands and try to really extend that leg as far as you can and that front arm back down to starting position and right back out again as you're doing this exercise you want to make sure that your hips and your core are staying as flat as possible so you're not turning as you're extending yourself out this one is not about speed you actually want to go nice slow and controlled and breathe all the way through this exercise. So big breath in, and as you're reaching out, big breath out, as you're coming back in. Thank you so much for joining me for the second low impact workout. Again, when you're following a workout routine, if you feel like your knees or your ankles or hips start to ache you, this is a great workout to inject into your routine to take a little bit of tension off of those joints go slow and go controlled and make sure we're still firing up those big muscle groups to keep your body metabolically active and working towards your fitness goals. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week.